many times have you heard about the preventable disaster of someone failing to leave a burning home? Here are some of the reasons for it. Fear of damage or looting of the home. Just a tragic overconfidence. Pets were in the home and they went back to save them. There are multiple other reasons. Now, this is a heart attack and stroke channel. Why am I bringing this up? Because failure to acknowledge and deal with prediabetes is the same kind of tragedy that's happening over and over and over, right in front of our, our faces, in front of, under our nose, and we're just not acknowledging it. Part of the reason is we don't know that it's happening. Most people with prediabetes, over 90% of them, don't even know. And it's incredibly common, as you see with the uh, UCLA study of just a, a couple of years ago. Over half of 30-year-olds and above have insulin resistance or diabetes. Now, we know some of the things that can cause it. Excess weight, obesity, excess carbohydrate uh, intake, sedentary lifestyle, genetics, aging, one of the major drivers. But we're not, we also know the things that, that it does. It causes elevated triglycerides, low HDL, polycystic ovary disease, sleep apnea. It's uh, related to sleep apnea. But most of all, it causes plaque and therefore heart attack, stroke, kidney disease, eye disease, just incredible numbers of problems, the major killers and disablers in our world. And again, it's not that it's sneaking up on us. We know how to find it, but we're not doing it. We're able to get oral glucose tolerance tests. We can even do it at home. I've, I've done videos showing how I did oral glucose tolerance tests with a freestyle light blood stick, finger stick uh, glucose monitor. And I even used Mott's applesauce. You can use Coca-Cola. You can use whatever you want in terms of sugar sources. Now, obviously, you get into some, uh, some argument about, well, colas have fructose, and that's a little bit different. Maybe the sugar in a, in a sugared, sugar-laden applesauce is not as accessible. You know what? Try it, and you can see it. The other thing that we're doing, we're offering more services where we can have help patients do an official, a uh, medi more of a medical grade type of oral glucose tolerance test. We're uh, setting up ways where you can look at uh, a craft insulin survey. We'll help you interpret it. We're also setting up ways where you can do just a simple home screening. So give us a call. Look us up. We'd love to help help you understand whether or not you're in a burning house. Thank you for your interest. My name is Ford Brewer. I started off my career as an ER doc, and that can be frustrating because most of the things bringing patients into the ER can and should be prevented, like heart attack and stroke. So I went to Johns Hopkins for training in prevention, did well, ended up running the program, trained dozens of docs there, and have trained hundreds and even over a thousand doctors since then in preventing um, disease. What's even more important is I've helped thousands of patients prevent heart attack and stroke rather than waiting for the devastation and hoping for a cure.